Welcome to the weekend podcast here on Rage Internet Radio.com. Uh, we decided to do this weekend podcast on Rage Internet Radio.com starting now every weekend. Uh, probably by Saturday you'll see us up here. And that was Shram with um, You Can't Break Me. Um, off, uh, you can go on iTunes and uh, pick up the uh, Can't Break Me song uh, by Shram. I think that song is pretty kick-ass. Anyway, um, we're going to be talking about the uh, two movies that I've seen recently in the theaters. Uh, I, well, not uh, I didn't see this one in the theater, but I am number four. A lot of people didn't go and see it in the theater and wondering what it was going to be like. Um, and Thor. I am number four and Thor. Uh, and uh, Zombie Walks and Yahoo reveals the top cities for billionaires. So if you're looking to rob a billionaire, uh, we'll be able to tell you where the fuck you can do that. Uh, anyway, so John Elway is upset that a punk band named themselves Elway. Um, this is just not news to me. Just really, I don't care. It's all over the place. I see it everywhere. I don't care, John. I don't care. You won a Super Bowl. You're a billionaire or millionaire. You're not a billionaire, but a millionaire. Um, and somebody named the band after you. Uh, you know, I, Elway. I mean, it's not even a lot of people have the name Elway. So just shut your stupid mouth. So I think that's just, that's just retarded. Um, the Bruins are in the Stanley Cup. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, Bruins are finally in the Stanley Cup. How do you like that, Montreal fans, huh? You like that? That's right. Sit at home and watch it on TV. And uh, feel free to cut your wrists. Um, anyway, on to the review of I Am Number 4. This movie had so much potential. I was actually kind of angry I didn't see it. In the theater. Like, I really wanted to see this movie in the theater. That's how much the trailer got me, you know, into this. Boy, was I wrong. What a big piece of crap this movie was. Crap! Fucking horrific movie, by the way. Great concept. Great idea. It could have been good. You know what I mean? If someone had done it right. The dialogue was devastatingly, horribly fucking mind-numbingly unbearable to the point of puking. There was a point in the middle, I think towards the beginning middle of this movie, where for about 20 minutes you want to kill yourself. I, or where you almost would walk out of the theater. Almost. Uh, where it got a little too Dawson Creek for me. It got predictable, number one. Number two, things happened that just didn't need to happen. And the whole thing was they spent all this time trying to make us realize that this dude liked this girl. And it was like, great. I still don't care. I never cared about her. She could have died. I wouldn't have cared. And what's funny about the whole thing is at the end of the movie, the guy ends up leaving on his own, leaving her behind with the asshole ex-boyfriend anyway. So what the hell was the point in that? It was just stupid. I don't care. Uh, all I cared about was the alien thing, was the fact that these aliens were living on our planet and these other aliens were hunting them down because they destroyed their planet. I wanted to know more about that than anything. I mean, it was almost like they were like, hey, let's make most of this movie about the the filler of this movie, like 20% of the mov way through the movie to 70% of the way through the movie. It was about this guy liking the girl and running, basically, was the, about, was the movie. Well, I didn't want to see that. I wanted to see the other stuff. I mean, it, it, was a, it was starting to get a little too Twilight and Dawson's Creek for me. I mean, if I... I mean, I don't know. See, Twilight did something like this with the, her... From her point of view more, falling in love with this... The vampire dude. And it actually made sense because it was part of the story. But for this movie to work, it didn't need to be part of the story. They didn't need this girl and him to be together. I mean, he wasn't really protecting her. I mean, it just didn't fucking make sense. God, it was terrible. And just the, and you know what I mean? Like, the story wasn't that great as it was, but the dialogue was garbage, too. Everything they said was garbage. 
Except for the the little sidekick kid whose dad was some alien guy who we never really found anything out about that either. Oh my god, just made my head want to explode. Um, and and that leaves me at Thor. I went to Thor thinking I don't even want to see this movie, but my girlfriend wants to see it, and that movie was actually good. It was good. I was amazed. I actually kind of want to see it again now, almost. It's it's really strange. So I'm number four. I was dying to go to see it. It was piss poor, garbage shit. I probably, oh my god, I I I I love the concept. That's what pisses me off. It had such great potential, and Thor was just. I thought it was great. Um, I mean, I'd give this. I'd give I am number four. I'd give it like a six point five. And if you know me, anything under a seven point oh, you don't go see or you don't buy. So I'd give it like a six point five. And the only reason it's that high is because of the interestingness of the story of the aliens, and they, but they didn't even really get into it, so it was retarded. Um, and Thor, I'd probably give a, maybe a 7.5. It was a real good movie. Uh, and I'm giving it from my point of view because I'm not just into that stuff. I don't know, 7.5 for Thor. That's good, though. I'd buy, I, I might buy that on DVD, maybe. But uh, definitely it was worth seeing in the theater. Um, anyway, uh, so this is the, the zombie walk things. I see these all the time. People talk about zombie walks, and I guess yesterday was the big zombie walk or whatever. But um, you know what I'm waiting for is just because, I mean, we've seen guns in churches. We've seen guns in schools. I'm waiting for some batshit crazy fucking zombie fan to go the other way because everybody's always, like, interested in zombies and, and the idea of zombies coming to life and zombie movies and everything. But everybody always plays the zombie. I'm waiting for some one of these motherfuckers to go to these zombie walks with a fucking shotgun and just start picking off zombies and, you know, with an erection until somebody finally takes him down after he assassinates about 15 or 18 people. Um, anyway, that's just what I was thinking. Um, so it's come that time. Um... Today, Moscow, and this comes from Yahoo.com in guides and advice section on Yahoo.com. The Russian capital um, in Moscow is the city with the most billionaire residents in the entire world. Moscow. Can you believe that? I can. The Russian capital boasts 79 billionaires, a stunning increase of 21 in just one year. What's going on in Moscow, folks? I don't know. The, that edges out New York, which is number two with 59 billionaires, and number three, which is London with 41. Other cities in the top 15 include such rising stars as Mumbai and Taipei and Sao Paulo and Istanbul. Los Angeles manages a tie for number eight, I believe. Um, but that, that all is quoted from uh, Yahoo.com, which I read earlier. I thought it was kind of crazy that Moscow um, was in the lead. Um I don't know what's going on over there, but apparently s people are doing well, you know. Um, I don't care. I don't know even why I told you all that. I don't know why. Uh, but it's the weekend podcast. It's RageInternetRadio.com. I'm going to be doing this every week in my underwear or naked. You won't know, so it doesn't matter. But you know now because I told you. Um, and the live show will be coming back. I know we haven't been doing that in a while, but fuck it. Fuck. Oh, God, it's fucking hot. It is hot in here, man. It is almost unbearable. Because I brought the AC upstairs where the kid and uh, the girlfriend are, so I'm suffering downstairs. And the LCD TV and Xbox running isn't helping, and the fan doesn't do shit. Um, I need a new AC, but I'm not going to spend the money on that because I got to buy the crack. Yeah, it's, I don't smoke crack. I'm just kidding. Um, but I should because it might help. Anyway, keep it short and sweet. That's what we do. The fucking Red Sox are rained out tonight, so I got nothing to do. Boston Bruins are in the Stanley Cup. Uh, I got my hand in my pants, and fuck it, I'm out, raging at radio.com every weekend, the weekend podcast, and the live show will be coming back, and I'll let you know when that is, we're gonna have some bands on, and some celebrities on, 
you can call a uh, second rate porn star a celebrity then fucking go for it see y'all later I'm out tits <laughs>